Where are we going in art today? The continent is Europe. The country is Ireland. Here's a map of Ireland. Ireland's capital is Dublin, and its nickname is the Emerald Isle. Its nickname comes from the beautiful natural greenery on its landscape. Besides the beautiful landscapes, Ireland was rich in culture through their visual arts and their performing arts. Today, we're going to look at illuminated letters. Before printing presses, typewriters, and copiers, the world had manuscripts. A manuscript is a book, document, or a piece of music that is handwritten and illustrated. The art of manuscripts are found all over the world. One of Ireland's most famous manuscripts is called the Book of Kells. Kells means great fort in the 6th century. It was a royal residence. When a letter is illustrated, drawn fancy, it's called illuminated. Look at all the art elements in this picture. Images that you might see in an illuminated letter would be things like plants, vines, birds, animals, bugs, different kinds of knots, and all of our elements of art. So the first letter of a new chapter is usually illuminated. It's lit up, exciting, has emphasis, stands out. Your turn. Let's be Doctor Who and jump into my time machine and go way back in history. We're going so far back, it's only the 9th century, 800 to be exact. Ready to go? Hold on. Step one, choose any letter that you want to illustrate, draw. I'm gonna do a B. Okay, so my letter's gonna be B. I'm gonna start with a ruler for the nice straight line in the back. Do this very light because you might want to go back and erase and you know it's always good to have a pencil that has an eraser on it. That way you can always learn from some different decisions that you might want to make. So you're going to start with your letter. And then to make a bubble letter or a block letter, you would do the outside first, and then you'll go back inside and think of the details, just like when we do a drawing. That will now make it wide or thick. The next thing you wanna think about is Remember the different illuminated letters had um, images of animals and birds and knots and things from nature, vines, plants, flowers, um, the different kinds of lines and colors and shapes and patterns. So we're gonna start adding that to our picture. I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to add some straight lines that wasn't very straight, but there's the ruler. There's the eraser. <laughs> I'm gonna add some straight lines down the stem of the bee. This part, use your imagination, come up with a really fancy decorated letter. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna do some some vines that are growing. On the outside of my letter. I'm gonna put some leaves growing. I think I'm going to put some half flowers 
so they look like they're growing out of the bee in different places. A lot of times if you looked at their different kinds of letters that I posted in the video, or you can also Google illuminated letters to get some ideas, they were very tight. And tight means that there's lots of designs. It's not a lot of extra space. So you wanna add lots of details. I think I need, let's see. Well, Harley would think that maybe I need some paw prints. Hmm. I think Harley would be happy with that idea. It looks like she's walking all over the letter. Or maybe some of her cat relatives. Because Harley likes to walk on things. She's a big help. She makes sure nothing blows away. Okay, so I went back and I added some lines. I did some shapes. I needed to add a little bug, so I added a spider web and a bug here. I had some curly cue over here, and I think it's really filled up. So my next step will take a black marker and I'm going to trace all of my lines so that my design will stand out. Step two, trace pencil lines with a black marker and then erase your pencils. And step three, start adding color with your supplies of your choice. And now I have all the background colors because I want the white flowers to stand out. And we have an illuminated letter, very fancy decorative kind of letter to start the writing of the Book of Kells. Here's a few more examples to look at. I added scales, made this into a dragon or keep it simple with just some lines and shapes and spaces. Remember to add your colors.